Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here and in today's video I'm going to bring you guys a quick Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can enhance the color of the sky on your photographs. So recently you guys know I received a, uh, a photography camera. I now have a Canon EOS T3i and I've been taking a bunch and a bunch of photos and I've been getting a whole bunch of photos like this which they're completely beautiful photos of a nice little scene on top of a mountain as you can see here. The only problem is the sky doesn't exactly look as blue or as awesome as I want it to be. So the backstory behind this is I took this picture on a day where we had really bad air quality. And as you can see, the air quality made the sky look completely gray. There was not that much blue in the sky and it just looks, nah, doesn't look as good as I'd want it to be. So let me just show you guys the difference. I have taken the original photograph here and I've enhanced the quality of the sky. So here's the original. Here's the enhanced version. As you guys can see, the sky is blue, and I also bumped up the blue of everything around you. So you can see, since I have a whole bunch of plants in the photo, that uh, if I bump up the blue, it'll make the plants look more vibrant and alive. So here's the difference again. The original, with all the grayness and the blah, and then the fixed one with the blue in the sky. So today I'm just going to show you my method for how I went ahead and enhanced the quality like this. I'm sure there are other ways to do this. If you have a different method, feel free to post a video response the way you did it. But today I'm just going to show you the method that I did. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my original photograph and drag it in. For the sake of time, I went ahead and resized it because my computer is not the best computer in the world. And uh, it took forever and I think it would lag with the screen recording. So anyway, so here's the original. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and duplicate the layer so that I can go ahead and reference what I've done before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to select and go to color range. I'm going to click in here and try to select this portion of the sky. I'm going to copy it, create a new layer and paste it. So as you can see, if I hide both the other layers, this is just the sky. So, and so that's good. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image adjustment and then I'm going to go to color balance and I'm just going to bump up the blues as much as I can. So I'm going to add a little bit of crayon, a little bit of magenta, and a little bit of blue. Let me just drag that over there. Maybe, maybe hmm, if I wanted to make it red, I could, but I drag the blue over there. I'm going to keep the magenta a little down. And as you can see, we have a nice blue right there. If I go ahead and hide it, as you can see, gray, blue, gray, blue. Next thing I'm going to do is go back to my original layer, go to select and color range again, select the blue that's down here. Copy, new layer, paste. And I'm going to do the same thing, adjustments and color balance. And for the sake of this, let me go ahead and hide that layer. And let's do that again. And let's add the one on top. Okay, and so that looks pretty good. So now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these three layers and I'm going to merge them together. So I'm just going to merge layers. And then I'm gonna go and add in the final adjustments. So I'm gonna go here, brightness and contrast. I'm gonna down the brightness just a little bit and uh, up the contrast so that it looks like that. And so as you can see here, Fixed original, fixed original. As you can see, the fixed one actually looks a little bit better. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to like jump up the curves and I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger than the original. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to uh, hue and saturation and I'm just going to bump up the blues just a little bit more. I'm going to click OK. As you can see here, opening up the blues in the final merged product. What it does is it enhances the blue of what we've already enhanced in the sky, but it also brings out the blue that are in the plants. So the good thing with this is plants, whenever you add blue to them, it makes them look more vibrant and alive. It makes them look like they're not dying in the hot, hot heat and hot, hot smog. So let's just go ahead and compare our final product. Here's our final product, the original. Final product to the original. As you can see, the final product looks a lot more alive and a lot more beautiful. You can't even really barely tell that we shot this on a smoggy, bad air quality day with bad lighting. As you can see, it looks much, much better. 
So that's pretty much it guys, that's how you can go ahead and do some sky color correction inside of Adobe Photoshop. There's much of other different ways to do this as I said before, but feel free to go ahead and experiment to figure out what which works better for you. I'd like to see some uh, responses down below to some of the photos you've taken and some of the photo enhancements that you've done. But anyway, that's it for the video guys, I hope this helped you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.